Friends, are you getting less mocks in the mock tests conducted by several institutes across India? Don't worry, you may still be able to clear the prelims examination coming in the next week. The reason why I am making this video is I have seen many students who are getting less than 70 mocks or around 70 mocks in the mock tests conducted by several institutes across India and they felt that as they are getting less than 70 or around 70 they would definitely fail in the examination and they have given up their hopes and they have given up their hopes and they are preparing for next year instead which is definitely wrong friend if you have really given up your hopes you will definitely fail okay the reason why you may be getting less marks is there are some reasons actually for example see in the UPSC examination the next week prelims or generally any prelims in the last few years they would be testing your logical thinking around 10 to 50 questions the type of question the type of statements they give in the answer the type in which you eliminate the options they are actually testing your logical thinking whereas in these examinations I mean these mock tests they are just testing your information if you remember the information you can put the right option so this is different actually so none of the examinations none of the mock tests can actually test your logical thinking very, very rarely they do that second reason is that friends the current affairs you observe the type of current affairs questions coming in, the, in these mock tests what happens is for example if you are writing the mock test conducted by an institute called A most of the current affairs questions would be coming from the current affairs material released by this institute monthly or weekly or annually any institute why because they want to encourage the students who have read their current affairs of course you may be thinking that current affairs almost is same for any institute of course friends for example if there is a government scheme called MP lads the fundamental concept of MP lads will be same in any current affairs material but every current affairs material will have some few statements on their own the way they, they tell the uh, explain the government scheme and in, in the mock test if they give question exactly from the same statements students who prepared that current affairs material will be easily able to answer and students who prepared something else may have to think for some more time to arrive at the right answer you understand that may be the reason and the reason is friends the difficulty level I have observed that some of the institutes are asking the geography questions from Savindra Singh you know and the economics questions from some textbooks which are followed by economics optional students actual UPS examination does not actually uh, you know ask questions from such kind of standard books they would either ask from NCRTs or newspapers or they will test your basic understanding so the difficulty level of some of the mock tests is far higher than UPSC level so don't be worried about your mocks in the mock tests one more thing I have observed is that in these mock tests conducted by any institute across India if they give a question if they give a question and if they are giving the statements in the statements what they are doing is they are taking the actual statement slightly twisting the fact for example if it is a 100 megawatts power plant they are giving 110 megawatts or 120 megawatts so those students who can actually remember that information by heart that can answer the question but in UPSC they will not ask this kind of questions in UPSC they completely convey a different meaning for example if it is 100 megawatt solar power plant they would give you 1000 megawatts which means you can actually imagine those students who actually understand hard megawatts means a small one thousand means completely altogether different meaning actually different statement so such people can actually eliminate that option so in that way also the mock tests are different from the actual UPSC questions the last reason I would say is that friends in UPSC there are many questions which actually test your presence of mind and your mature understanding of the concepts and in mock tests they definitely cannot give questions to, to test your presence of mind because while preparing the question paper in the mock test they won't actually spend so much time about presence of mind all those things they would just test your information how much information you remember and how much you are able to produce in the examination that's all friends friends that's why my conclusion is that if you have written some 20 mock tests in that some 5 or 6 mock tests of course you may even get 40 marks 50 marks is okay but if out of 20 mock tests some 12 to 10 to 12 mock tests if you are getting above 70 you be confident don't give up your hopes you sit in the examination with full of hope full of confidence definitely you may be able to clear the examination also friends my suggestion is though I am making this video still you don't stop writing the mock tests 
write as many mock tests as possible only when you write more mock tests you will learn the time management answering 100 questions in 2 hours if not 2 hours, 1 and a half hour actually ok because you have to spend some time for bubbling the options also second thing is intelligent elimination how do you eliminate the wrong statements intelligently that you can learn only when you write more and more exams of course you have to write last 5 years of UPSC question papers also at the same time write the uh, present mock test conducted by any institute don't believe in one institute write some 3 to 4 different institutes uh, mock test because in every institute the exam the paper setter will be different his way of understanding is different so write several institutes mock tests some 10 mock tests from each institute like that okay and one more thing is in the last two to three days before the prelims examination don't write any mock tests just revise the mock tests that you have written okay friends all the best